What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. All right, 30 for 30 series. It's coming to an end, but we still have a few more workouts to complete. Today is leg day. Also, the new low stem pre-workout from Create You is finally here. Link is in the description. Um, and before we get started, I want to give you a few tips you can be following for this workout. So... Let's get started. Let's let's do it. Let's 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 just, let's just get started. All right. Quick tip number one: When trying to build muscle, I generally keep my carbohydrates high and protein high. Your fats can be at a moderate level. I don't suggest super low carb for extended periods of time. Number two: If you have problems with your digestion, I suggest trying creatine HCL. It may be much easier to absorb than monohydrate. Number three, if you are having bad skin, I don't know, acne or something like that, I suggest looking at your food sources, then the amount you're consuming, then the macronutrient profile of your day. Four, fruit, fruit, fruit. What a great way to get fiber and don't miss out. Number five and last, with every movement we complete today, it's important to pay close attention to our hips. We want to try and shift slightly back when completing any type of single leg movement. Okay, so we have air squat jumps going into Bulgarian split squats. So our feet are gonna be a little bit wider than normal here and pointed outward, external rotation of those hips. You wanna try and keep a neutral spine as much as possible through the movement. As you come down, we wanna start loading right here, okay? You don't wanna go too far into the squat, so it's about a 45 degree angle of those hips. Here, not here, okay? So right around here, and you're gonna come and load as so. You're you're gonna bend slightly at your hips. That's completely fine. You don't wanna go too low, but right here, okay? And then as you come up, you're gonna explode and jump, okay? So it's gonna be explode and land and pause and reload. Explode and reload, okay? Then from there, you're gonna go into Bulgarian split squats. I've shown you this many, many times already in this 30 for 30 series, but we're gonna shift this hip back and make sure we are more towards the front around our toes or top of our foot here, okay? And squeezing down, come all the way down. You can pause at the bottom for these and coming right back up, don't fully extend at that knee and that's your superset. All right, so we have floor hamstring walks. Now it's just like if you had some socks on and you were dragging through those drags, you guys know what I'm talking about, those leg curls on the floor. But this time, instead of coming here and sliding all the way up, so clearly we can't because we don't have any socks on, we're going to walk up. So we're gonna come into this hamstring position, squeezing everything into the ground, our hips, our glutes, squeezing as much as possible, our abs, same thing, all right? Then we're going to walk up, slowly, look at my feet, very, very slight. Here, they come right back down, boom, all the way back down, without letting your butt hit the ground. Once you complete those, then we're gonna go into the hold. So you're gonna come up, walk about a little bit halfway or a quarter way, and you're gonna hold in this position, squeezing your glutes up. You're gonna notice when you squeeze your glutes more, your hamstrings become more on fire. If you drop them, it's not gonna be as aggressive, right? So squeeze, 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 and you're gonna really feel the burn. Okay, so we have some duck walks, moving straight into a wall squat. So the duck walks, you wanna stay right over there. What we're gonna do, is get down in a low position on the balls of our feet, okay? We are going to be walking on the balls of our feet as we are in more of a neutral spine, walking as so, okay? You're gonna notice this burns like crazy. If you feel it too much in your knees, what I want you to do is try and stay more so on the midfoot, right here, midfoot, okay? And you can actually walk as so and take slower reps and Go ahead and complete half of the amount. Again, if your knees are hurting, if not, complete those duck walks properly. Then we're gonna go into a wall squat right here. So yeah, so, all right. Now with these, what I want you to do is have your legs attached together as so, and squeeze as much as you can so you're working your adductors as well, all the way at the bottom here, below 90 degrees, and squeeze, keeping that chin back, neutral spine here, Pushing your abs into the door, and boom. Jeez, that's your superset. We have for this superset, eight to 10 single leg pistol squats, 10 lying leg curls, self resistance. Stay tuned for that one. It's, it's a beast and it's new. I haven't shown it to anyone yet. Okay, so you're gonna grab onto a counter, whatever it is. We're gonna do an assisted pistol squat. 
um, call it pistol squat. If you can do a pistol squat on your own, that's completely fine. Um, for me, I'm going to make sure that I'm stabilizing as much as possible. I even sometimes want to put my forearm, and that's how I'll start to to uh, go down in this pistol squat. Now, I want to make sure that I'm shifting into this hip as much as possible. So if I'm out here, or I'm, I, I, like I just, it just doesn't feel stable. That's not what we want. We want to push it back and stabilize and get started in that position. Okay? You can even put your toe on the ground if it's a little easier. All right? So you're gonna come down here and come right back up. Now, sometimes it just depends on where I'm at. I'll use this inner foot up first or down first and hold it on the same side or sometimes I'll even go here just depending where I'm at and how my leverages on these tables are, okay? So I wanna start off there and then we're gonna go into self-resistance, hamstring curls. Now watch this one, this is very, very key. So we're gonna lay down straight and flat, okay? Now you're gonna see this leg right here is not gonna be work. This is the one that's creating the resistance. Now you're gonna take in between your, your big toe and the toe right beside it, that little crease right here, right? From this crease, you are going to, just like a regular leg curl, push in while trying to pull up and pointing your toe towards your body as so, not here, here, okay? So, it's gonna be as so, and all the way up, boom, reset, squeeze your abs into the ground, pull up all the way, okay? One more, push as much as we can, pull as much as we can, boom. I'm telling you, if you follow that correctly, you're gonna feel it. That's your superset. Okay, so we have suicide squats going into calf hoppers. Suicide squats, you guys have seen me do this before. We're going to grab onto the table as so, okay? We're gonna be about a couple of feet away from the table, or you can just start off right here, lean forward, boom, you notice I'm on the balls of my feet, all right? That's exactly where we wanna be. Now, when we're coming down, we wanna make sure that our knees are just coming down and we're becoming even more upright and even going into a little bit of extension of that lower back, but not too much. Not too much, not hyperextension, okay? So squeeze, extension of those hips as much as possible. Squeeze those, those hips in, pushing away, pushing away, pushing away, all the way down. Pause for a second, and then come right back up. If you wanna go a little bit slower and a little bit go further down, that's completely fine. From there, we're gonna go into calf hoppers, and we are going to finish strong. So calf hoppers, we're just gonna be on the balls of our feet, and we wanna jump as high as we can with as much extension as possible. Jeez, yeah, that's brutal. There you go. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm setting myself up for a quarantini, or jeez, I can't even speak, quarantini. It's basically a martini in a quarantine. You watch Netflix and chill with yourself. It's fit. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, thanks for tuning in for the 30 for 30 series. Uh, we're back here at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's coming to a close. It's been a pretty awesome journey doing all these workouts in the house and also at the park a little bit. Uh, cardio, abs, legs, like all this stuff. Yes, you can build muscle with body weight training. If you're eating right, micronutrients, all this stuff, then yeah, of course. Also, supplementation. If you're eating correctly and you're adding in the proper supplementation, like for me, I take vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B. I also take my greens from Create U, take my pre-workout from Create U, sometimes before my training for performance. And then I also take creatine HCL from Create U. All, like, by the way, the link is in the description for that. Um, but if you do all that stuff, you really will see incredible results. It's possible, especially if you want to lean down. It's it, it's beautiful right now, especially if you're quarantining. Um, anyways, give me some feedback. My Instagram is right here at the B Meyer. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your post notifications on. Vlogs are coming soon. I'll see you next time. Peace.